Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use XPC on your home computer. I'm using Windows Vista. First thing you want to do is you want to open up XPC. Let it load. I already have a profile made up, but I'll show you how to make a new one. Enter your nickname, your password, confirm password, country, state if you live in the US, connection, if you know it, go ahead and fill it in. If you don't, don't worry about it. Your email, aim, you don't have to fill it in, MSN, ICQ, Skype name, if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Uh, Skype is like internet chat. And then you're going to want to hit next. It'll ask you if your email address is correct. If it's not, then if you ever forget your password and you want them to send it to you, they won't be able to because it will be incorrect. You're going to want to hit next after that, and then you're going to hit OK at that message. Then it will bring you back to this screen. Save your password. That's what I do. I'm the only one that uses my computer. So if you really think it's that bad if someone else goes into your account, then just remember your password. You're going to want to log in. This is the main screen you're going to be looking at. You got the toolbar up here, all the games on the side, list of all the servers in that particular game. If you want to look at all the games, you hit all. There's quite a lot. Got your friend list on the side, your buddies. Uh, when they're online, it'll be green. When they're offline, it'll be red. You can refresh your buddy list in case somebody comes on. Players is people you've played with in recent games that you've joined. You got PMs over here in the chat. Usually the chat is connected. I leave it off because it just makes makes your computer a little bit slower. If you want to chat in there, just chat in this. Type your message in here and hit enter. You can go to the help channel and they'll help you in that channel. If you want to talk to somebody privately, you double click their name on the side here where the names usually show up and uh, it'll bring up a new window and you could talk in there. When they respond to the, uh, the PM, this r green dot will turn red. First thing you're going to want to do before you actually join a game is you're going to want to go to tools and then find your console. I just select all the boxes, hit OK. Is the console we are looking for attached to a wireless network? No, but yours may be. It'll look for your console and it, mine has been found. So after that has been done, you can actually join games now. Lightning Bolt means someone has an approved server. It means they have a fast connection. Usually that's what you're going to want to go in there. If not, you can just go down and look. Their connections, all the other ones are going to be a little bit slower because they're not approved. Red dot means that the game is full. Lock means if you join, you're going to need a password. If it's wrong, it's going to be access denied. I don't know how the hell I got in there, but whatever. Um, when you actually join a game, it'll load. Sometimes if it doesn't, then you can just try again or go to a different game. Alright, so here I'm in a game. I'm most likely going to get booted because they're in China. China, And because I'm so far away, it's going to make me lag. But when you're in a game, you can look at the people who are in the game. Stars is for people's ranking. Clan, you can be in a clan if you want. If you want to look at their clan, you click their name. It'll bring up a banner and all the players in. They'll have a website sometimes if it's a decent clan. Um... If you want to chat to anybody in the game, you can say, hey, what's up? I'm new. Um, then you can just go and play the game however you want. When you're done, you just hit end game. If you want to host the game for yourself, you simply go to the bottom left hand corner. You go to host. Say you want to play in Halo 2. Select Halo 2. Playing game of, I don't think anybody ever messes around with this. Preferred amount of players, you can make it anyone, singles only, doubles, triples, and quads. 
Um, max people are allowed in the room. If you don't want your server to lag, then I s recommend staying at 10, but the default is 3. You can have all the way up to 99 if you want, but I don't know, that's kind of pointless. You can make it a password, you can make the description, like if you look up here, TDR and plus DRT clan CTF team games. Say you wanted to write super bounces or glitches or zombies or whatever you want to do. Players on your Xbox, this lets other players know that how many people are on your Xbox. Game has Xbox Live content updates. That's like new maps that you need to get from Xbox Live or you need to buy from GameStop or whatever. Welcome message, you can say, hey, what's up? Welcome to my room, blah, blah, blah. Uh, player rating, this is for you. How good you are. You got noob, one, six, intermediate, and 10, elite. And then you simply just go to start game. Once the game is started, you wanna hit game is up so other people can actually join your room. If you want, you can lock your server so nobody else can join. You can also invite your friends but nobody on my buddy list is online. You can change your greeting while you're in the game. You can set your info while you're in the game. If you wanna, if you wanna boot somebody, you click their name and then you hit boot. Of course, you can't boot yourself because that wouldn't make much sense. After you boot a certain amount of people, say you wanna get those people to come back in, you simply hit reset the kick list. Um, your ping, I don't have any ping because I'm the host, but you want to try to keep your ping as low as possible. I recommend turning off your firewall. Um, if it gets high, if it gets over like 500, that's when people start to complain. So try to keep it really low. When you want to end your game, you can simply just hit end game. And that's about it. Um, hope this tutorial helped some people out there.